Hi, Speech 101 class. My name is Hallie Doman. I'm a sophomore here at the University of South Dakota, and my major is dental hygiene. And this is kind of my take on the informative speech that we just gave. The purpose of an informative speech is to give the audience specific information on a topic they either are familiar with or even an audience that has no clue what the speech is about. Going into this speech, I was nervous. Sometimes it's very hard to give an informative speech because there's a fine line between an informative speech and turning it into a persuasive speech, and I didn't want that to happen because it's very easy to do so. When considering my audience, I tried to think of what I would like to see on a PowerPoint speech and just incorporate those aspects into my speech just to help out. So for me, I incorporated pictures just to spice up certain slides and to give visual representation kind of just on the boring sides where people like you need to get them engaged right away and then kind of at the end too. Um, in terms of the speaker EOS, I tried to use different tones in my voice so it wasn't monotone the whole way through the speech. I also did not want the slippery slope from page 93 in the book to occur. So for this speech, I tried to make sure every event was possible and could very well happen. In terms of the structure and organization, I think the introduction is the best part. I think it's it's easy to capture people's attention by telling like a personal story or something that they can relate to. So they're not bored right away when they're listening. You have to capture their attention. I also think you need to make it personal to the people who are listening. I think transitions feel odd to me because you're incorporating two things smoothly and I think that's where it can become difficult. Um, my speech was the dangers of alcohol, and it was challenging because, like I said before, it's hard not to turn that topic into persuasive speech. Um, so I think my strongest persuasive argument was just to drink in moderation to what your body can handle. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to someone who was drinking. So I think that's where it became persuasive. But other than that, I like to give speeches online. I like that you can mess up on the first try which happened to me on my first speech. I forgot the words totally and had to start all over. Um, so you always have that op option to start over. The work before the speech is a tricky part for me. I think it takes more time when you have to do the outline and the bibliography before you can even start the speech, which is nice because you have the prep work done, but it does it is time consuming. Um, and it's easier to fix things right away from that than to start your speech and then have to fix it as you go. One thing that I connected with on the book was page 66. It talks about the importance of having a good location. I really do believe this because you always want to put your best foot forward. And I've never noticed where you've given your speeches because I've always given them in like auditoriums or in classrooms. But now that it's online, you do have to pick your location and it does help. Um, thank you for listening to my video blog. I hope my experiences for the informative speech were somewhat similar to yours. And now we move forward to the next.